Hey, what's up everyone? A few days ago, somebody asked me to create a roadmap of just the remaining months in the year and what are we going to deliver? So what we had was for the whole year. And then I tried to, to tinker with the template and I thought, you know, maybe it's just easier to create that from scratch. And uh, this is what I came up with. And if you want to build something like this, which is a simple roadmap, then this is what I'm going to cover in this video. So start with a blank sheet. And the way I like to do this is just have the colors, everything right from the start. So I want to give it a certain background. And I have this written here, just so that the video doesn't take very long in searching and so forth. So you give it a background color. And then I just call it a product roadmap, which is something I type down here. So this is uh, done. And now the most important part of this is in fact the roadmap in this way is just a chevron so you can pretty much select this from powerpoint and so go to, go to you know process and here you have a chevron and this will give you what you need now here you can just type the months so in this case i need need the months of the year and uh, this is how you can just do whatever your need is. So if you want to do it on a quarterly basis, you can do it by quarter. If you want to do it uh, uh, by month, you could do that. And then you just format this a little bit and it looks nice. So here I would just say no line. Uh, you know, by I've just seen that anything without a line is usually better than when you have it with a line. So I remove the line. And now I'm going to give it all the colors so that it makes it look a little more interesting. right? And I have just selected this uh, gradient sort of color for this video. Uh, usually, I would imagine that when you do it for your, if you're doing it in your company, then you have a corporate template of some sort. Or um, if you want to select colors, one very interesting way to do that is just to go to Adobe Color. And they have this color picker where uh, you can give it a starting color and then ask it for contrast or things that go with it and so forth. So that is how I pretty much came up with this uh, uh, this color scheme. Not to say that it's very great or anything, but I would hope that at least a little bit better than the PowerPoint blue. And, and let me just put in the last color here. So this is, you, you are done here. So this already looks a lot nicer usually when you are building a roadmap i would imagine that your uh, thing is supposed to be a lot narrower than it is longer right so the reason i say that is because you would want to take the entire page to to showcase this and if you have a lot of milestones which i imagine you have that hence the need for the roadmap then keep it slim and longish like this, right? So now here you have a visual representation and now you can start building on the list of things that you have. So go to shapes and just select a line and say that, you know, in September, let's say we are gonna have our first launch. And uh, again, you know, I mean, I just like to give it the right color and everything right from the start, but that is more, uh, preference than anything. So let's say we are going to have our launch here. So you can just say, you know, you have a launch here. If only I can spell it. So maybe this doesn't need to be as big. Perhaps a 16 is fine for this. And maybe make it a little, yeah. So and this is also, I, I guess I have a certain color that I wanted to put this in. Okay, yeah, maybe it's a nice one, maybe it is not, but uh, you get the idea. So what you can do now is create a few lines and and usually what will happen is, so now in our scenario, we had uh, we had five or six people doing this. So we have a roadmap that goes 
across five or six products. And so we had multiple people uh, write this. And what I did was I created an initial draft and gave it to them. And then after that, it was very easy to collaborate on that, which is what the goal of the exercise was. Because if I were to give them something that's a uh, little bit longer to or harder to uh, you know, collaborate on and formatting, etc., then you don't necessarily uh, invest your time very wisely is my feeling. So hence the, hence what we did. So you can put as many as you want here. Let's say, you know, you have a minor release here, which is your last thing that you do at the end of the year. And then you go to holiday, whatever. Although I would imagine you can't go on holiday after a minor release. But, uh, but so yeah, this is what you do. And the last thing I will do here is, this is I've seen a lot of people do, and, and I, I like the idea, is just to indicate where you are at the moment. So you can have a little silk triangle like this. And again, at least for me, I don't want this to have any lines. And give it a color that goes with your uh, template. And then just create a line and say you are here. And again, we, we have to work so much with the color because we are doing it uh, you know, sort of on the scratch. But normally I would imagine that you have, a, you have, if only I could connect this. <laughs> you have a corporate template or something that you can use. And uh, then you just say, I'm here. Give it like a little small text. We are here, I think, is more appropriate for this. And you can make this really small. So yeah, so you can see that this is a very easy way, very quick. I think I took seven minutes uh, to build this. And if you want this template exactly, then it is there in the link below. And you can take this and modify it to your color scheme. Or if you're looking at this and have some other ideas to modify that, yeah, feel free to do that. And if you have any questions, then please leave a comment and I'll uh, answer them. Thank you. Thank you, guys.